Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. What I wanted to do was give you an update on the Sazabi project. I haven't had a chance really to build on it much just to the way my shift at work has been, but what I could do, which was kind of uh, a new thing to try, was the panel line accent uh, stuff here, and I got black. Now, I've never used anything like this before, but I thought I would venture forward with it and try it out, kind of based on some videos I've seen. Uh, so this really is like the same build progress as the last video I did, so nothing's really changed there. But, can't really see it from a distance, I don't think, at least on my small screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this down closer, and hopefully you can see that now that I have here where there were panel lines I've used that panel line um, accent color stuff and it's really really popped out something I mean this is really cool it's like applying a wash on a model um, but this stuff is like very very thin and it just soaks into the panel lines it's pretty cool because you can put some on your, it has like a little applicator in there and you just stick it somewhere along one of these panel lines and the capillary action just really sucks it along. And then um, the only one areas that were kind of a pain to deal with was these deep, deep channels right here. And it didn't fill in super black as much as I'd like, but everywhere else it went really well. Even on the dark red, you can see you just put a little bit in. Now, this is the mistake I was making before, as I didn't let this dry enough. Um, if you try to wipe off the excess, obviously, before it's dry, then you just end up sucking all of the um, ink or whatever it is, the um, that panel line, I guess, I'm just going to say ink, but you end up sucking all the ink out of your channels and out of the um, you know panel lines. So that was the thing I had to learn was, okay, just apply it and then let it dry. But it really, I think, I was surprised at how much pop it adds. It really does. Um, you can see here on the helmet, it helps to really kind of define some of the areas on the helmet really well. Yeah, it's just crazy fun. And then uh, what I did is you can't see it at all, but just because I thought it was so cool, let me pop this part of the helmet off. I didn't want to pop that part of the helmet off, but if you take the helmet here, and I went ahead and even did it on, on the inside of the head, no one will ever see that, but I know that I've accented it. Uh, what I did, well, what I should do is go back. I was dropping some here in some of these recessed areas, and you can tell there's like a difference between where I have put some of that wash and where there isn't. Yeah, the lighting probably isn't helping, but um, yeah, that stuff is amazing. And then even here, lift this up, just in a few little areas there, put a little bit just to help make it easier to see. And uh, yeah, it does help give a little definition to some things. Uh, you know, just really helps pop those panel lines out, which I haven't finished. I thought about, you know, there's a few more places that I want to do. And again, it, it's still kind of learning it, but um, I think, you know, as it gets applied, uh, yeah, I'm pretty amazed. So I thought I would share that. That's where I'm at so far, even on the arms there. Did a few of the panel lines on the arms. And it just really does help to pop out the details. Yeah, I'd show you, but then it takes forever for it to dry. You know, and I'm pretty much done. Like, I have just a couple spots here on the arm to do. And, I mean, I could just go crazy in every panel line that I find, you know, go ahead and put some accent to it. But I thought, you know, let's, let's build some more of the kit first before I just go crazy. Because uh, it's almost like a new toy. It's like, oh my gosh, this panel liner stuff is amazing. Yeah, and of course, you know, it, it, I, I can tell there's areas where it doesn't look as nice as I would like. But ultimately, as far as my first learning how to modify one of these kits uh, I think it went pretty good you know and I really like how it turned out on the helmet too so yeah I'm just really surprised at how a little thing like some panel line accent 
really draws out, you know, because from a, you know, if you're up close looking at it, you can see the panel lines, but it really helps bring some um, contrast between the different shades of red. I don't know, it just really helps give this some more definition. So I'm, I'm glad I went ahead and got some of that. Okay, so enough rambling on that one. What I do have had, oh, I just lost my X-Acto blade. Where did I put that? Oh, great. Oh, I know, it's in the box. I guess it's still in the box. What I thought I would do, I don't know, where did I put my X-Acto blade? What I thought I would do is go ahead and do a decal while I got y'all here. Well, I just cut it out. I was going to use my X-Acto blade because I didn't want to. Here, I'll just use one of these without the handle. I can't find the handle, so we'll just do it this way. All right, let me just peel up a little bit here. Yeah, let's do like that. And I found this one. I found one of the big ones. I thought I would just start with a big one. Now, I have not done a decal, per se, in a very, very long time from when I was much younger doing like model kits and whatnot. Let me see which one it wants me to put on the shoulder. Because I, I want to try out those, uh, the mark set and the softener. So decal 145. Yep, yeah, that's this one here. And I thought about scissors, but then I was like, well, maybe I can get more control cutting it with my X-Acto blade then I don't know where I put the handle for the blade. So I'm going to just try to very carefully cut around here. Uh, I think I just cut part of it. Eh. Whatever. Oh, no, I didn't. That's just the uh, cardboard underneath kind of holding up a little bit. Okay, we're good. We're good. Whew. And I figured that'd be better than trying to navigate a big old clunky pair of scissors through here. So we cut it. All right, I'm going to put these back here. And so that's what I've got here. We've got the mark softener, and then we've got the mark setter. The picture shows that particular decal is going to go in this area here on the shoulder so we're going to stick it let me close up here before I end up cutting myself unnecessarily I'm going to pretend to have a little bit of safety I think my wife would appreciate that a little bit of safety okay exacto blades out so I just want to kind of dry fit this here, kind of get an idea versus the picture where it needs to go. So it's going to go right along here over that part and the wings end. Yeah, so it's going to fit right in there like so. All right, so we're going to put it in the water. to do a little mark softener and that goes in the area that you're going to apply well there's a lot there you drop all the way down there. Let me grab my tweezers because if I stick my hand in the cup to try and pull that decal out that's going to go all over the place. Make sure I got enough here. They said I'd be generous with the mark setter. Okay cool. Mark setter is there. Alright. Reach in with the tweezers. Because if you let that set too long, I hear the decal can actually kind of dissolve in the water, and I don't want to do that. 
All right, it is sliding. I know my hand's in the way, sorry. Okay, the, and the decal setter is there. And now we're going to move it around. Right about so. Okay. And we gently remove the excess and try not to move it too much while doing that. So far, so good. Because then the next step will be to apply the setter, right? And that's the one that is supposed to kind of dissolve the decal and the glue of the decal and then almost make it look like this was painted on. Well, that already looks pretty good just like that. I know the setter is to just kind of help you place it. Uh, yeah, why am I using a Kleenex? Is because I forgot to bring over a Q-tip with me. Whoops. Yeah, I know. Everybody I see, in all the videos, people are using Q-tips and stuff like that. And I was like, well, if I bring a little ball of cotton, that's kind of what, what those are made of, right? So does that count? Okay, I think I've got the excess there. So now, let's put a little mark setter. And let it do its thing. And I, you know what, I saw people use that, but I was like, oh, you know, I don't think I remember anybody saying how long you leave that on the decal. So that I don't know. So we'll just sit here for a second or two. But otherwise, that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to let that stuff sit on there for a bit. Let it do its dissolving. I might not have put enough. Because honestly, I've never used this stuff before. So this is like one of those, you know, I'm just learning. Maybe I put too much. But that should have a generous coating on there. Now the other thing I should have done too, which is what I've seen people do, is you take like a clear mat. I just applied this straight to the plastic. So that might have been a bad move too, but that's where we are. Well, there we go. I don't know exactly what it is doing, if anything. But I went ahead and just kind of let it soak in there. I'm not sure when I'm supposed to clean the excess off. Well, so this would be the part where you watch and then you say down in the comments, okay, Eddie, so you, you did your one. Now that you, you've got, you know, about a hundred more of these things and they're all very, very small, here's how you actually do it. But that, that was my understanding. So if you have some tips on how to use the softener and the setter, please let me know because I've never done that before. And so that's the first time I've done that. So you can let me know how I should be doing it better. That way the rest of these decals will look a lot more professional. So I'm gonna go ahead now and push on it and get the excess there. Oh yeah. Well, I can see why you wanna be careful because depending on how you push, and kind of can almost wrinkle that up a little bit. All right, that actually 
So by itself it doesn't do anything. What you got to do is, yeah, use that Q-tip. And when the Q-tip, when you push down on it and you pull the X off, that's where it really starts to shove down into the panel lines and over stuff. Ah. Oh. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. But the problem is... Oh yeah, that's great. So I'm trying to be careful with it. Yeah, that like melted right around this here part. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so I can see that this is definitely uh, kind of a skill on its own, but nice. Yeah, that does look sharp. Yep, that just sunk right around the little bit here that sticks up. That's cool. Well, I can tell. All right, so first time using all of that not too shabby I think next time I'll make sure I've got q-tips because q-tips seem to be the tool of choice when applying this and, and whatnot but I'd say overall first time not too bad uh, yeah so it is about a hundred more of these things to go probably a lot more this thing is covered with itty bitty uh, decals well anyway that's where we are I appreciate you tuning in for that I know that's a lot of video to watch just to hear me talk about panel liner and decal softener, but it's the first time I've used that stuff, and it really, I think as it all starts to come together, really does add some pop to the figure. So thanks for, you know, joining me on my journey with my first time into the Gunpla. I think for sure, though, once I am done assembling and panel lining and everything, We'll probably put a nice clear coat on here, it's like some kind of mat, just to help protect those decals from being, you know, scratched and whatnot in the future. But there we go. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate you watching. And, uh, you know, next time I've done some more stuff, I'll give you another update. Thanks for tuning in.